99 times out of 100, if you want to form the edge of a sidewalk or a driveway on a fair curve, that is just a uniform arch, arc, segment of a circle that looks good and is good, you just, you know, nail or screw together your bender board and kind of wrap it out there and stake down a few spots and maybe follow some paint marks and call over the owner and see if they like it. And once you get the curve you want, you just stake it down and go to work. But sometimes you can't do it like that. Sometimes the particular curve is specified or sometimes you can't drop back and hang your tape on the center point of an imaginary circle and swing the arc and put the paint marks on the ground. Sometimes you have to make a fair curve, an arc, a segment of a circumference in a particular place and make it right. And it's not enough just to put the form up there and eyeball until you like it. Now it doesn't happen often, but when it ha happens, there's a trick called quartering in an arc that I'd like to show you, even if you never use it. Because full disclosure here, I've used it three times in 30 years. But I learned it from a man named Dennis Bunker. He was the main push. He was a superintendent for MS Concrete. And he was, by a long shot, the most forceful and hard-charging and hard-headed man I've ever met. Dennis was tough. And he ran, he ran a very productive outfit. When I worked for MS Concrete, they had 300 finishers. I think they got up to 600 finishers before they sort of peaked out. Dennis is dead now. But thank you, Dennis, for showing me this technique. And frankly, I feel lucky that I've been able to remember it the last two or three days and share it with you. You start this whole process out by pulling the cord of the arc. In this case, it's a straight line 190 feet long, or at least that's what I'm shooting for. And it becomes the bottom line that connects the ends of the smooth curve or arc that I'm planning on laying out. Now the Latin word sagitta is a funny word to us. I mean, we just don't hear it. Think Sagittarius, the constellation that is the archer. The word sagitta means arrow or point or dart in Latin, and it refers to the line that starts at the midpoint of the cord and is perpendicular, proceeding out until it meets the midpoint of the arc. This first sagitta is 40 feet long, and I used a 345, or in this case, 30, 40, 50 triangle to make it square. With a stake in place at the end of the first sagitta, I can pull the rope out, stretch it tight, and we'll have established the two cords for the two halves of the arc that we need to work on next. This is the beginning of the magic. Measure out and drive stakes at the midpoint of these two new cords. Now using another 3, 4, 5 triangle, I mark two new sagitta that are one quarter of the length of the first sagitta, or 10 feet long, and then drive two stakes at those points. This is the whole secret. Go to the midpoint of the cord, mark a square line out, one quarter of the length of the previous sagitta, and repeat. So let me dive a little deeper into squaring up this 10-foot sagitta because I'm using a 3-4-5 triangle, and using that sort of a triangle to establish a square line is a fundamental construction skill. Now as it works out, the 10-foot sagitta is 120 inches, and that's handy. I can use 120 inches as one of the squaring legs because 120 divided by 3 is 40. 
So 3 times 40 is the length of one of the legs. Let's call that the A leg. 4 times 40 is the length of the B leg, 160 inches. And 5 times 40 is the length of the hypotenuse at 200 inches. It's as simple as that. Any combination of numbers that is equally divisible by 3, 4, and 5 can be used to establish a perfectly square line. Now, like I said, I don't know how often you're going to need this trick, but it just never hurts to be able to do something that nobody else that you ever worked with could have done and set yourself apart, or at least make a spectacle of yourself when you try to figure this out for the first time under pressure with a group of guys standing around wondering what in the world are you doing. And then, after you have it all laid out, and everybody that was naysaying is a little surprised and impressed and probably shocked. If any of those guys actually want to learn anything about what just happened or where you learned how to do this, just tell them that you learned it from Dennis Bunker. Thanks for watching Essential Craftsman and keep up the good work.